Hello and welcome to end of year 2023. It's hard to believe uh, the holidays are here. Uh, we've got a 3-3 release coming out just before the end of the year, so I want to shoot some videos, give you something to watch while you're drinking your eggnog, uh, enjoying your holiday, thinking about data ops. Not really. Hopefully you just enjoy, enjoy your holiday and come back to it next year. Uh, I did try to spruce things up. Uh, this is sprucing things up on the R&D budget, which is zero for this kind of stuff. So I've got a lobster and a Christmas tree here. I wanted to put a Santa hat and a lion. Uh, couldn't find it. Might appear in another video. Uh, but we're from Maine, hence the, hence the lobster. All right, so let's jump to it. I want to quickly cover a new feature that's pretty powerful, I think, in the uh, 3.3 release. So in, in this example, I've got a customer project that they've built out basically an ISA 95 hierarchy inside of uh, the Intelligence Hub. And they've kind of structured that with groups. But the easiest way to see this is if I read this and grab the data and view it, you can see that you know this is the company. It has sites in Arlington and Boston. And if I drill into the areas, you know, it has processes that are uh, lines and then et cetera down here, they have machines on the lines. So this is an ISA 95, ISA 95 hierarchy. You could send this out over MQTT to create your UNS. You probably wouldn't send the whole thing. You'd probably break it up uh, on the top, et cetera, but you, you could do it, right? And the challenge is when you've kind of built this thing, and you want to send it to source systems that don't support hierarchy natively like MQTT does with topic definitions. Uh, how do you maintain you know, where this example filler machine sits inside the hierarchy in an easy way? And in this example, I'm going to send a SQL and I'll show you how you can do that. So as an example, if I go down into processes or uh, no, sub processes and I pick this, let's just say weight checker. You know, inside this weight checker, you can see in this customer example, they actually have a path attribute, and they've hard coded that to the path uh, from the company all the way down to <coughs> the asset name. So this is perfectly reasonable and it works, right? But it's hard coded and it's kind of um, it's kind of fragile. So I'm going to show you a better way uh, to do it. And to do it, we have a new feature inside of instances called usage. And I'm just going to do it quick save it, do a test read so you can see what it looks like and then kind of explain how it works. So you can see when I did that, this dynamically fills in the path. So inside the UNS, it grabs the entire hierarchy dynamically and then fills that in for you. Uh, and you can use that in your data. In this case, I'm just using it as a simple replacement. And what this is tapping into is our internal usage information. So if you go in, this is saying, hey, give me the usage of this instance, uh, the, first, the first usage of it, because there could be multiple, and put that path in the data. And if you go to usage, you can see this is used by line one, and that's used by bottling line one, etc. So you can kind of follow that whole path up uh, the chain. But this is a way to reference that uh, immediately. And you can pass a delimiter in here that would just change uh, the delimiter that's used in the spacing. So now that I have this, right, what's really cool is I can, let me just go create a quick flow uh, that sends this out to SQL. So I already kind of created this. Okay, weight checkers. So I'm doing an upsert here. Every asset has a unique ID. So I'm going to upsert basically single row into the table, and I'm going to create that table uh, if it doesn't exist already. So I'll just call this to SQL. And I'm going to go grab the weight checker instance, and I'm going to output that to uh, SQL Server. Weight checker, and I'll just turn that on. And if we jump out to SQL Server, and I've kind of already, and if I refresh this table, you can see that path is in there, right? Now, what's cool about this is remember the path was was static before; it was hard coded. Well, what I can do now is I can actually go move this weight checker. So inside of my UNS hierarchy, right? I'm going to jump out. I'm going to go to. Let's just start with the weight checker. It's currently on uh, line one. So what I can do is go in, and this is another new feature. So for array types now, we have this expression builder, which allows you to drag and drop things in, and we'll manually we'll build the array for you, right? And this is an array in, in JavaScript to remove that. Now, what you'll see over time is our expression syntax has gotten more complex. So you'll see us over time use this more and provide this in almost all of our fields so you can pass parameters, do templating, and other things that are... Today, you have to manually type out, right? But this is a kind of a first example of this that we're using it for array building. And it's a pretty cool, pretty cool tool. But anyway, I wanted to remove this weight checker. 
so I could do that manually or I could do it do it here right so we'll use the tool that removes it from the array and then what I'm going to do <coughs> excuse me is I'm going to go uh, processes I'm going to go to line two and I'm going to add it there uh, wait oops checker so I'm going to add it in save it my flow is still running right it's still going and if I come in here now now that I've moved that position in the hierarchy, you can see the path updated and I didn't have to change any defaults or hard coded things. So that's the power of this, uh, this kind of new field. The only other thing I'll mention real quick while we're at it is there are other, um, oops, that's the L1. I want the weight checker L1. There are other ways to call this, right? You can call instance.name now to get the name of the current instance you're in or instance.model to get the model definition. So it's other metadata you can pull into the actual data uh, that's pretty useful. The only other thing I'll mention is you'll notice that I was using the usage tab to jump around. We're really talking about in the next major version how we can kind of overhaul or enhance, not overhaul, but enhance modeling and instances and part of that is to better represent that hierarchy so that you could visually see the hierarchy in a tree form and more easily manipulate the position and, and move that weight checker over to line two kind of visually and again since this feature exists uh, you could do that manipulation and not have to change this path information just kind of carry through to the, the destination system which is pretty cool all right hopefully you enjoyed that uh, more to come